outcomes before, let's just say, sometimes senior management takes it in a different direction? Yeah, no, that's a great seen. question. I think I'm going to build a little bit off of what Tobin said before addressing that question. Hopefully it dovetails together nicely. I don't get too off track. But, you know, I think the industry didn't do itself any favors by um, hyper-financializing NFTs, by the sort of toxic energy that entered the space of chart go up, right? So I, so I think that that is an easy target for regulators. And I think that anyone who enters the space looking to make millions of dollars off of selling collectibles may find themselves in a different space than those who are looking to use the primitives to gamify the customer experience and develop a more uh, engaging bespoke experience for their users, right? So to bring it into uh, your question about how Polygon Labs uh, advises some of our larger brands and, and you know, some of the great partners that we have, you know, we think it's way more powerful for a brand or an enterprise or a retailer or, or whoever to engage with the technology in sort of an earning aspect rather than a selling aspect, at least at the very beginning. So you look at um, the Starbucks Odyssey program, you look at Nike.swoosh, uh, these programs have been tremendously successful, each of which are selling NFTs now, having gotten their footing, um, but have started by allowing their customers, and in this instance, their fans, um, to earn NFTs first, right? With the idea being, um, this is an introduction to the technology. There is a learning curve here. Um, you're going to earn your first NFT, which is going to be more memorable than simply buying the speculative asset that you hope goes up into the right, which may be deemed a security because of that toxic energy from, hype, from being hyper-financialized. Uh, and also signifying to your customers your fans, the, the market writ large, that you're here for the long haul. This, this isn't just uh, an activation. This isn't an experiential thing. This isn't a moment in time that you're looking to um, sell some memorabilia against, but this is a long-term strategy. And in the very beginning, to just get started, you're allowing your fans um, to earn an NFT, to get into the program. So that's, that's sort of how we like to navigate bringing large brands into the space. 